All right, this is going to be the fifth time I'm recording this. Hopefully it's going to work, okay? Basically, what we want to do is talk about the camera size here, all right? So you're going to go on the right side here of your scene, okay? First, second, we always have ambient and blue on, so for output. So basically, you're seeing a printer with a sheet of paper coming out. Normally here, it would be 1920 by 1080, okay? 1080, okay? This is how um, Blender starts out. Okay, so this is good for a scene like this when you're looking at the entire scene. If I zoom in, zoom out, kind of thing like that, and you can say to yourself, yeah, this is okay. But the goal here is we've already taken our, our shot where everything's in, in it, right? So if we come in here, this is your first shot, for example, and you go render, render image, F12. You save it, image, save as, good to go. So we don't want all our shots to be close-ups, right? So I'll just call this room. Uh, it's not a close-up. It's just it's, it's a landscape shot. So it's room done. All right. But what we want to do now is spend some time uh, accentuating the details. So articulate, meaning like just doing close-ups of what things you've created, right? So if I press period here, look what happens. So we'll, we got a cup here, for example. Let's say in this scene, um, I want a box, right? So let's say this is 1080 by 1080, for example. 1080 by 1080. Boom. Okay. See, now the framing of this is a lot better, isn't it? Okay, so this is showing me three pieces that I've designed, and it's not in the landscape, it's more of a square. Square is fine. Okay, so I may as well just bring this one here in the back, somewhere like that. Cool, okay. So I got this shot here. I don't think it's lit enough to make a good uh, render, or you know, but it's good enough for now. Okay, so we'll just go something like this, and we'll go render, which is frame, uh, which is render, F12, cool. All right, so you got that, sweet, we're done. Uh, I would work on adding just a bit more light to give contrast. It's being washed out right now, but you're in grade 10, it doesn't matter, okay? But if you want to, please take the time. Save as, meaning like just add another point light underneath, lower the value of it so we, we can see things clearer. So room, uh, I'm gonna call this now close up underscore uh, manuscript, okay, a manuscript. I'll know what that is, save as. Second okay. thing is file format here. Let's make sure we're in JPEG, okay? So we change the printing, the, the camera size. Okay, and we changed to uh, JPEG. So there we go, done. I'll do one more, all right, let's go. And what do I wanna look at? So let's look at something over here that I made before. Um, I created a scene here with this light, and I think I want this to be more vertical, right? So let's just kind of change this to, let's say 800, for example, by, uh, by 1,000, just say 1,000, simple. You can go 1,200, doesn't matter really. This is just giving me an opportunity to come in here like this and uh, make a shot. Hopefully this is being recorded because after this, I'm not recording this after five times. So here we go. We've got more things to, sh to showcase here and I'm keeping it in kind of three quarter view, meaning I'm seeing a front and a side and in between that. I have my uh, potion bottle, my um, kind of candles here and station like that, good enough. And now we're gonna render and I'm gonna end this video here. Render image. Okay, so there it is. So now you can take this and save it, send it in and so forth. Now, if you're if you're doing this at home and your system cannot handle rendering or it's, it's really, uh, uh, if it's slow, right, for example, if it's slow, I would just, at this point, come in here, guys, and just look, do this. See the two circles? Just maybe turn off these little circles that looks like lights, for example. Watch this. Come down here. Just say bye-bye to extras. This would be okay. So I would come in here and do Command-Shift-4 on a Mac and just do this right now within your scene. You don't even have to render and tax your system. Or you could go on a Windows and use the snippet tool, which I love, and then hit uh, Control-S, save it. It gives you the same thing. It goes on your desktop. Or it goes somewhere. It saves. So if your computer cannot render this, I would encourage you to turn off the wireframe maybe and turn off the extras and then do a rendering like this. So command shift four again, no extra edges. I'm gonna go inside this and there it is, there's my shot. I can use that in your presentation. Okay, cool. So again, go to the printer output, play around with these two dimensions, the X and Y and everything is fine. It'll be sweet, valiant up, that's it. Hopefully this one worked under five minutes, sweet.